Oh my goodness. Guys, this is the Damawa State. Atiko's beloved state. Just take a look. Look at Atiko's kinsmen. I said it, guys. Northern youth can no longer be deceived by these greedy Nigerian politicians. Look, just look at look at Newman. It's not even Yola. This is Newman in Adamawa State. Look at crowd. Oh my goodness. Omo, I no believe this one. Just check out the next video. Make you see what they happened today today. Now 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 in Adamawa State. <laughs> candidate PO has two geopolitical regions, let's say two and a half in the bag two and a half the southeast and the south south 
none other candidate has any geopolitical region under his or uh, her belt. Disagree to agree with me, it's okay. But I'm telling you, two and a half percent, there are two and a half geopolitical zones. Let's concentrate, put all energy, not central, put as many energy as we can, southwest, not central. The north will play itself out. APC, PDP will cancel each other. Guys, don't be surprised. Do not be surprised. PO will win states like Ninja State, like Kano State, like Kaduna State. Do not be surprised. Now, let me tell you why the North will shock a lot of people in a good way. Katsina has one of the highest number of IDP can. So does Bronu, so does Sanfara, so does Jigawa, so does Kane. I'm um, sorry, Kaduna. To the point that they even have IDB camps in Abuja. Do you think these people don't want to live a better life? Do you think they don't see what's happening? Do you think they don't listen to radios? Do you think they don't see the one million man match that happened? Do you think they don't want to have power supply? Do you think they want to stay and be burying their loved ones every time? Do you think they want to be displaced forever? Do you think they don't want to buy bread at 50 cobwell a loaf? Do you think they don't want to see power supply? you think civilization will never meet them in their lifetime? Or they don't have blood running through their veins? Or you think nobody is telling them anything? And they have PVC. You think the message that we're preaching, that we're translating, is not working? Guys, have a rethink. Have a rethink. And now, let me also tell you guys. Do you think the population in the north they are more than the population in the north central, uh, in the southeast and southwest and south south combined. Take away those uh, underage workers. Take away those people that come and stuff ballot boxes for them. So when they tell you beavers would work, beavers would definitely work, and these people want a better Nigeria. Do you think the Fulanis are happy with the houses or the houses are happy with the Fulanis? There is a lot happening in the north. A lot. When I tell you guys, those people, they are fed up. They are fed up. So guys, even with 28% modeling across board, PO is still winning by a slim margin, less than 4.5%. 4, 4 That's the truth. So it would definitely be more than that. So we're talking about 40%. I mean, you know, during you're here, do it, sample and let us hear 40%. What is the result? We're like, talking about exceeding everybody's expectation. I mean, so if we do a 40% across board, we still win. Um, the thing is, because you are modeling, like because the turnout is done on an average basis across every zone, it will the margins of winning will, will still be the same. To ensure that you win by more, you have to turn out a lot more in your base. Like, for example, just given the sentiment of, of voting across the country, I expect to see 
a large turnout in the south, south, and southeast. I expect to see a moderate turnout in the southwest, as, except for Lagos. Uh, I expect that the north central will have a, high, a healthy 